pretty good sized grocery haul this week. Um, I decided to stock up on some stuff for summer and I needed vegetables and fruit. So I'm going to turn you around and show you what I got this week. I went to Wegmans and Walmart. Okay, so I got some corn on the cob. At Wegmans, they have it already shucked somewhat. <laughs> They're not very good at it. Some cabbage. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but um, I'll do something. We like we like to have cabbage a lot, so I decided to get one, and I will probably do something with it. I got a bunch of bananas. I got some pears for my husband for his lunches. I stocked up on potatoes because I'm totally out, so I got two. I think they're five pound bags, and yeah, and they are butter potatoes. They are very good. I got two packs of my little cucumbers, four tomatoes. I'm gonna start making salads with um, all of our meals. I got a nice little head of cauliflower. I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat that raw or cook it. Three heads of lettuce for my salads and salads at dinner time, and two big things of really good looking strawberries. So that is all for produce for this week. I will come back and show you what else I got. Okay, so here is the rest of my order. I stocked up on the cottage cheese for my son for his lunches. I'm hoping that these four get us through the end of the school year. They should. Um, I got a buttermilk because I'm going to make my ranch dressing. Okay, so during quarantine, I discovered these. <laughs> and I absolutely love these. Um, I love to put them in, they're so good in soup and stuff. So I got four little cans of those. I also stocked up on some Rotel just because it's good in soup and it's just good in other dishes you make. So I didn't have any left on the shelf. I got some pasta, I got some spaghetti, I got some penne and elbows and small shells. And these, well, the spaghetti definitely, but these ones may not necessarily, necessarily be what we use. Um, that'll be for picnics and, you know, making dishes to go to picnics. So I like to have that stuff on hand. So if we have to take a dish, I got some noodles. I got my organic um, coconut oil. I use that for everything. It fries my eggs so beautifully. Um, I use my little cast iron pan. They don't stick, they flip if I need to flip them. It's it's like the wonder, wonder oil for me. <laughs> I also stocked up on some dried beans. I'm getting very low. I had no great northern beans left. I had just a little bit of these and a little bit of navy. And then I do still have some cans of black beans, but I wanted to get some dry black beans. And so I'll add these to my jars. And I needed a mustard. And I stocked up on a couple more of my flours. Now, this is the flour I use in my sourdough, in my bread baking. Uh, works just fine, so that's what I use. And then we got this <laughs> for our little pups next door. We like to give them a little treat. And yes, the mom and dad are fine with us doing it. So that's the rest of my groceries that I picked up and stocked up on for this week. I haven't um, got a lot of stuff in a while, so... I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot that <laughs> I haven't bought, but I'll be back. I have one more thing I want to show you. Okay, so for the end of the year gift for the teacher, I've always done an end of the year gift. I've always sent in something because I just feel the teachers deserve it <laughs> after such a long year and, you know, especially like last year and this year. So... I have always, since my son has been in three-year-old preschool, sent in an ice cream basket for the teachers. So what I do is I'll get like either some sort of basket or um, like Walmart has those cloth uh, collapsible, um, like they look like a picnic basket. They have the two handles, but they're cloth and then they, you know, they um, fold so that you can store it easier. I've always gotten like stuff like that. One year I got like a galvanized tub and what I do is I will put every single cone there is to buy. <laughs> waffle cones, um, sugar cones, regular cones, waffle bowls, 
all kinds of syrup, chocolate, strawberry, cherry, whatever I can find. I will get um, maraschino cherries, sprinkles, um, like peanut topping. Um, what else do I get? Like there's like Reese Pieces toppings, there's Snickers toppings, marshmallow topping, um, caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, I mean everything. I will fill this to the max with all your ice cream needs. And then we put a gift card to like a grocery store to go buy the ice cream. I've done that every year <laughs> and the teachers love it. Um, even last year, even though we had that horrible year and the kids were home the end of the year, we, uh, my son and I went cause they did a book drop off, uh, one day where you came and dropped your book. So I'm like, oh my God, this is perfect because I wanted to get her the basket, but I'm like, how am I going to get it to her? <laughs> so when they said we're doing a book drop off, I'm like, cool. So my son and I ran to Wegmans and we got everything we needed for the basket. We put it together. I put like a uh, pastel colored tissue paper throughout the whole thing. So it's so pretty looking. And um, so, and I get a card, a thank you card, and I have my son sign it and everything. So we, we were able to give it to her and I felt so good about that because I thought, oh my God, I don't want to go a year without giving the teacher a thank you gift at the end of the year. And my fate, I call them my famous ice cream basket. So um, it's funny because... <laughs> at my son's old school, the teachers were like, I want Roman because I want that ice cream basket. <laughs> so, um, so this year we have a guy teacher and it happens to be the husband of the teacher we had last year. So I'm like, I don't want to do an ice cream basket again because I did one for her, you know? So I'm like, what can I do for a guy? What do you do for a guy teacher? We've never had a guy teacher before. I mean, he's had them, but not, not his like homeroom teacher. So I'm like, oh, so I, I was thinking and thinking and thinking. So I texted her, the wife, a couple days ago. And I'm like, does he like to barbecue and stuff? And she goes, oh, yeah. And I'm like, okay. Uh, I said, because I'm thinking of year-end gifts. She's like, oh, my gosh, you are always so on top of it. I'm like, I know. I love doing this stuff. I'm definitely a giver better than a receiver. So I'm going to turn you around and show you what I got. <laughs> it's not complete yet. I still have a couple of things to get, but I have to go to my meat market to get it but I'll turn you around and show you what I got them. Okay, so most of you know, barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays, and then I don't know if any of you ever use this. We use this all the time. We're gonna use it for dinner tonight on our chicken. It is so delicious. You don't need to put it on wings. We put it, we cut up chicken breast, put it on there and put them on the grill. They're wonderful, very tasty. So I got these two sauces. I have another sauce I wanna get. There's a sweet and uh sweet and spicy like mustard sauce that the meat market sells so i want to get that to get give it to him too okay so our area is famous for smith's hot dogs so um this is like one of our claim to fames from erie pennsylvania is the smith's hot dogs they come skinless wieners or you can get natural casing wieners these are our favorite. Um, so I got two packs of these. So there's a, they have a family of four, so I figure that's plenty. And then they also sell these Cheddar Best. These are the bomb. They're sort of like the hot dog, but they have like cheddar throughout. And oh my gosh, so delicious. <laughs> so I actually, these come like just one row. So I got two packs. Um, cause he has family four. So then I'm thinking, okay, how do I get this cold stuff to school? I'm going to freeze all this, not the sauce, just the hot dogs and the cheddar best, but I decided to get a cooler. <laughs> so I picked this igloo cooler up at Walmart today and I got a freezer pack to go in it. So I'm going to pack this. I'll put the freezer pack, then I'll put the hot dogs and the cheddar, we call them cheddar dogs, down at the bottom, you know, and then I'll put the sauces on top, and then I got a nice big bow to put on the top of the cooler. And the cooler is really cool because it's on wheels. So I thought, okay, that's kind of a guy gift. So, and then I'm going to also, I got a thank you card, I'll have my son sign it, but then I'm going to put a gift card to our meat market in there. So if he wants to go get ribs or chicken, 
and barbecue it, then he could go, you know, buy that. So that's what I decided for the man gift this year for end of school. Okay, so that's it. So thanks for watching. And um, I don't know when I'll have another, I mean, to me, this was a big haul. I haven't picked up like canned goods or anything like that in a while, just because I've been using what's on my shelf and I still have plenty on my shelf. Um, there's just some things I'm running out of, so I wanted to get those. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon.